guys, Maria here. I thought I would go ahead and sit down and film my next project pan video. This is going to be my second project pan. If you haven't seen my first one, I'll leave my playlist for all of the videos and updates and all that good stuff for my very first project pan linked down below. So please check that out if you're interested. Um, I am going to be doing this project pan, which will begin on January 1st, and it's going to go through the end of March. So it gives me three really solid months to get through some of these products, hopefully all of these products. I'm also going to, spoiler alert, do the Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo and Finish 7 by Spring. I'm just kind of starting to get into some decluttering and some use it up stuff. I have my project use it or lose it going on. I'll leave that link down below too. But basically I just really want to focus on using up some of the products I own that are just sitting in drawers and are not getting a lot of love so that I can eventually get to a point where I feel comfortable with the amount of makeup I own and I'm actually using it all regularly. Anyway, kind of a long-winded intro there, but let's go ahead and start talking about some of the products I've chosen. So I did do another Project 10 pan. I chose just 10 products, and the project will end either when I finish all 10 of them or on March 31st, at which time I will reevaluate what I want to do. So the first product I have is a Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the shade Barely Beige. I've had this. Here's what I got left. So you can see I've made quite a dent in it. Um, I don't think I'll have any trouble finishing this up. I've had this for about two years now. It's a cream product. It doesn't, like the texture hasn't gone bad. It's not dried up yet, but I don't want it to go bad and cream products definitely tend to go bad quicker. So I want to go ahead and get that finished up. Um, I have a couple other cream products actually. I have my MAC black track fluid line so i think i have about i think less than half of this maybe like a third of it i'm not sure how long it's going to take me to finish that up um because i don't use a ton of eyeliner and i only use that on my upper uh eyelid when i line that um so yeah i don't know i really need to quit saying um i'm trying i'm sorry Another, um, I just did it again. Another cream product is Benefit What's Up. This is a highlighter. I got this almost two years ago as well because this came in not this year um, for 2014, but 2013's birthday gift from Sephora. And I mean, this is pretty much full. I haven't used very much of it because I'm just not a huge highlighter person. I think I will finish this up pretty quickly. It might take me like a month to get through the rest of this. I'm not sure. So my goal is to use this as highlighter, but also when I get done with this, I'm going to start using this on my lid, I think, to try to get through it as kind of a base. I have this NYX... Um, Butter Lip Balm. This is in the shade Panna Cotta. It's not going to show up really darkly because it's pretty sheer. I do like this. Um, let's roll it all the way up here. I'm going to mark all of these products when I get done. But you can see I have quite a bit left compared to the cap. That's about where we are. But I do like this product. I've just had it for a while. Um, I'm trying to think. I've had this well over a year. So I would like to get it used up so it doesn't start to go bad. Plus I have a lot of other lip balms. So I need to work through the lip balms I have open and get them out of my collection. And finally, my carryover product from my very first project pan. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's just the original formula. This is definitely over two years old and I use it regularly. Um, man, I really, really need to quit saying, um, but it's just such a bad habit. Anyway, I use this regularly. 
there was a period in time where I was using something else for a little while, but for the most part, I've used this regularly. Um, ah, um, gosh. Anyway, I got through this much in my first project pan, so I should easily be able to finish the rest of this, I think, especially since the tube tapers. I'll be glad to see that go. I like it. It's a good product. I've just had it for way too long and not been able to play with anything else. I have three products in this little Z palette from Sephora. The first one, I'm going to try to pull them out, but they've got a little bit of glue on them. Okay, this is Bella Bomba Blush from Benefit. This is just like a deluxe sample size. It has a pretty good dip in it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. But I don't love this blush on me. It's just a little too shimmery for my taste. I definitely prefer a more matte blush. So I'm going to keep working at that. And then also from Benefit. It's really hard to get these out of here. I should have pulled them out in advance. This is Hula Bronzer. And it definitely has a dip going. I think I'll hit pan on this fairly quickly because this is the only bronzer I'm using right now. But I don't, it's a little too orangey for my skin tone. I use it to contour with. It's okay. I don't dislike it, but I definitely wouldn't buy it again. And then the last product in here, this is the lighter shade, I think in the brunette formula of NYX's Brow Duo. I can't remember for sure because I depotted it and I didn't write the name down or anything, but I've got a really good dip in this for sure. I don't know how well you can tell, but I would like to get that finished up because I have other brow products that I want to start using and that's the oldest one I own. I also have the darker shade that I need to get through as well. I don't know. I'm just going to focus on the lighter one for right now. I have my Bare Minerals. This is not a deluxe sample size, but it's like not a full size either. It's somewhere kind of in the middle of those two. This is the Mineral Veil. It's just like a finishing powder. I've been working on this for a while. I got this originally in the summer of this year, but I've refilled it some since then. So I just want to get this container gone because I do have a full size of this product ready to open. And the last product is also from Bare Minerals. This is the concealer. It's a powder concealer and it's in the shade Bisque. This is fairly full actually. Um, I didn't buy this. It was sent to me from the company. However, I don't really like that shade for me personally. I do use it under my eyes and it works okay, but it's a little too pinky toned in my opinion. So those are the products I chose for my second Project 10 pan. And like I said before, I'm going to be starting this January 1st and it's going to be going all the way through the end of March. And um, yeah, coming up pretty soon, I'm going to be filming my Finish 7 by Spring and Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Um, so please keep your eye out for those videos. If you do Project Pan videos, please let me know if I'm not already watching them because I would love to follow your journey as well. Talk to you guys later.